Good morning, good afternoon. Um, kids, this is Mr. Curtis. It's Wednesday, April 8th. It's about 10 a.m. and I just wanted to make a quick video of, of making sure that we're paying attention to the tasks that are given. So this first one is, a, is about the paper airplanes, okay? So this is the PDF that you probably saw and this paper airplane experiment is actually more than one page. So you've got the second page is the materials page, You've got the next page is the methods and the last page is a chart. OK, so these things are all really important. I know you want to get into the into the designs of the Pepe airplane, but it's really important that we follow the instructions. OK, so kind of re reading right here, it says when you throw a flimsy paper across the room, you just kind of just did something. There's some same similar laws of flight that exist for that, just like a jumbo jet. So we're just gonna need some paper, a little patience, a lot of patience probably, and you can explore these laws and find out by using um, uh, mental managers to stay in the air. So we're gonna watch some experts. So you'd maybe click on that link that I gave you, and it looks like this. Oh, here's Time well ads. spent, I promise you, because no we've been investigating what turns a piece of paper into a piece of air. So that, higher pressure that's then pushes one way that you can kind of watch. It's a great left. little video. It's about four minutes long. But okay. the wings of our paper I'm plane I'm going to pause that, sorry. And then I'm going down and looking at different designs. I could click that link. Now, for time, I'm not going to click that link. But if you click it, you can find some designs that you like. Now, what I need to see from you is... I want this hypothesis, okay? So I wanna be able for you to type this in the comments of the Google page. My hypothesis, my airplane will travel blank number of feet, okay? And then of all the designs, design one, two, three, or four, will traverse the farthest because, that's a big one, that word because. That's important that we, we tell it why our hypothesis will uh, be the way it's gonna be. Here's some methods that you have on the third page and then some questions to think about. Will you measure in inches and feet and those types of things? And the last page is the chart page. Now you can, you can handwrite these. Um, you don't have to create one in Google uh, Sheets if you, you can if you want. But again, you have some questions. Which plane flew the furthest? Why do you think they were the best flyers? And then you can actually put your designs and the distances here. So these are really important questions. So don't just go with the assignment and just kind of run and go. Make sure you read all of the requirements before. This is a fun activity, but it probably will take you a little bit of time. So hopefully you guys have a great Wednesday. The weather looks great outside, and maybe you can take them outside and measure. Bye for now.